assalamu alaikum everybody um i thought i'd do another video today uh, as i'm making it it's a simplified version of chicken roast which you can do for every day as opposed to special occasions um uh, so what i've got here is eight chicken drumsticks which i've just scored um across so that the um marinade can penetrate through and to that what i'm going to add is um, about half a teaspoon of salt and I'm also going to add from the spices about half a teaspoon of turmeric or haldi powder and I'm also going to add about half a teaspoon of extra hot chilli powder and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rub all those spices in and the salt and then I'm going to let that sit uh, for about 10 minutes um, before I'm going to fry it so just make sure that they get into all the slits and then just leave it to one side and then I'll come back to you with the next part of the cooking um, so what I'm doing here is I've got about six um, medium to large onions and I'm chopping them, they're not very finely, um, they're approximately about two millimetres thick. They don't have to be very fine for this because the onions remain whole, as in they don't soften down uh, into mush as you would um, do in um, normal curries. A chicken roast in Bangladesh uh, they don't have ovens so what they do is they cook um, their chicken roast in a pot and this is how they would go about doing they fry initially the chicken pieces and then what they do after frying is they make a masala of onions and then add it to that cover it and then they'll cook it like that and that essentially is a roast so the thickness, as you can tell, is not perfect, but it doesn't have to be very thin. Okay guys, so we're going to fry the chicken now. It's been marinating for about 10 minutes. What I'm going to do is I've got this pan on and I'm going to put a bit of oil in, enough to be able to shallow fry the drumstick pieces. And to that oil, what I'm going to add is a 2 inch piece cinnamon stick. And I have here 5 cloves, so I'm going to add that all to the oil to infuse it. What that will is give the chicken a really, really nice flavour of cinnamon and clove. Obviously be wary of it popping. <laughs> now to that oil, one by one, I'm going to add the drumstick. And I'm just going to fry them until they're golden on both sides. It should take about 7 minutes each side, so we'll kill about 15 minutes. Um, and meanwhile, I will get the onions started, so I'll come back to you in a second. Okay guys, we're going to get started on the onions now. Um, I'm going to make this dish a bit decadent, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add ghee to it, as opposed to oil. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add two tablespoons of ghee. You can obviously, if you prefer, use um, oil instead, but I do like giving it a bit of that luxury touch, or rich touch rather. So we've got here two tablespoons of ghee, and I'm just going to let that melt. And once that's melted, I'm going to add three bay leaves, um, a two inch piece of um, cinnamon stick, three cardamoms, 
about six uh, peppercorns and two cloves. And I'll give that a quick stir. And then to that, I'm going to add one and a half tablespoons of garlic and ginger that has been crushed. And then give that a stir. And we're going to let that brown. While the um, garlic and ginger is brown, we'll turn these pieces over. They should have gone a nice gold brown now. Okay, and now to this, I'm going to add six large onions that have been sliced. I know it seems like a large amount, but you want um, this to be kind of a uh, Bruna style, so it's not going to be very saucy. Add salt to taste. Remember that obviously you had salt in the chicken as well. And then give that a good stir. Once you've given it a stir, just cover the lid, uh, cover with the lid, and then um, put it on to cook until the onions have softened slightly. But you don't want them to break down. You still want them to retain the shape. So um, if I give it about five minutes, we'll come back to it. Okay, so this has been cooking for about five minutes now. As you can tell, the onions are softened, but they haven't broke down. So what we want to do to this now is we want to add the spices. Okay, so I'll just come back in a second with the spices. Okay, to this what we're going to first add is some ras curry powder. And I'm going to add um, a heat teaspoon in there. That'll probably be about one and a half teaspoons. And then chilli powder. I don't want it to be too spicy, so I'm just going to add one teaspoon in there. Next, I'm going to be adding coriander powder. Again, I'm going to be adding one teaspoon in there. After that, I'll be adding cumin powder. I'm going to add one and a half teaspoons and then finally I'm going to add some garam masala and I'm going to add just about three quarters of a teaspoon to that. I'm not going to add any turmeric because I don't want to get that um, yellow uh, colour in there so the ones that I'm just using are all the darker spices so hopefully it should turn out to be a nice dark colour, a brownish colour if you will. Now, because if I add too much um, chilli powder, it will go red. What I will do is I will garnish with green chilies, uh, slick green chilies, so that will add more of the heat, but it will also give the green colour as well. So what I'm going to do is cover this and cook it for about five minutes and we'll come back then. Okay, so the chicken pieces are all gold all over, so I've taken it off the heat and I'm just leaving it to one side until we need it in the curry here. So I've been cooking this for about five minutes and as you can see the oil started separating so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the chicken pieces to this. Now be careful not to stir too much because you might break the chicken pieces. What you want to do is just carefully um, mix in the sauce, put the onions over the chicken and then what you want to do is cook this on a low heat for about 30 minutes, 40 minutes. Yeah, 
So cover this and cook it for about 30-40 minutes and then we'll come back to you. Hi guys, so as you can see this is cooking away now. Um, it is getting stuck to the bottom uh, but we don't want to stir it too vigorously because that will break up the chicken. If you just move it and try and get all the bits on the side and the bottom off and then gently turn them so then they'll be able to get even cooking. And just cook it on the low flame on your medium sized hob and hopefully it should be fine. We'll come back to that in a bit. Okay, hi guys, so we're back. Um, this has been bubbling away for about 40 minutes. G. Um, this has been bubbling away for about 40 minutes. So what I'm going to do is just add some uh, chopped chilies and some chopped coriander and then it will be finished. Okay guys, so I've got um, four green chilies here which I've just slipped. I'm going to add that and I'm going to just finish it off with some chopped coriander. Now ideally what I would have done for a special occasion is added some mawa which is um, solidified milk and that would have given it a richness. Or alternatively I would have made a paste from cashew nuts and poppy seeds and added it to this as well. Um, what you can also do if you want, um, you can add uh, yogurt to it um, and that will just give it a completely different taste. Um, but yeah, what you can do is serve it with some eggs, uh, some nice garnishes and it will make for a main dish for any um, guests you've invited over. Um, so this is it, my uh, Bengali chicken roast. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, like, share and subscribe my channel please. Um, any requests, again leave it in the comments below. Um, and follow me. Okay, thank you, bye.